Alright guys, well I'm in my hometown in Indiana this weekend, which means I have all of these open uh, farm fields to fly in because they have uh, harvested for a season already. Anyway, I get to fly out here. It's just amazing. Great opportunity. Practice some FPV. A um, few updates. I am now flying my Mikey's RC YC-14 for FPV. Uh, this is just a really stable plane. I'm comfortable flying it, so I said I'm just going to use it for now. I put my video transmitter right up here on the tail, so it's, the antenna is nice and high. Um, also, I've got a new camera. This is a uh, Sony Pixum Seawolf camera, 609 uh, TV lines and wide dynamic range. This, this camera's awesome. I was just, I was tired of losing where I was at when I, when the plane would look up into the sun and this camera takes care of that completely. So I've got this, um, my laptop recording, I'm also, I'm still using 5.8 gigahertz for the video and just my Spectrum 2.4 for radio. Here's my monitor. This drape on here is a curtain. It's a blackout drape. I got it on Amazon. It was like maybe like five, six bucks. It blocks out all the glare. So this was a really good investment. And additionally, I'm now running a 8 dBi patch antenna. It sits down here. I've got a little cord running up here to my video receiver. Um, and this is great. This thing really, really works well. So I'm going to fly. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. All right, here I am, getting ready to go. Everything's up and working. So my monitor. These cargo planes are really easy to fly. It's a really good way, in my opinion, to learn to fly FPV. So I'm using, like I had mentioned before, the 8 dBi patch antenna with 5.8 gigahertz. Which is pretty good, but I'm getting those little lines of interference. Some cows here in the field. I'm getting some pretty good distance. It's definitely improved over the dipole antennas, um, but in my opinion, now the circularly polarized antennas are definitely the best for 5.8 gigahertz. Here I am, just seeing how far I can follow this road down, and the video starts getting crappy again here. So I wasn't too confident going down that road any further. High altitude's good. You can see my car down there, kind of in the lower middle. I can't see it anymore. Middle of the screen. I'm pretty far away there. Really happy. Now I'm adding in my OSD and flying with that. Here I didn't have the NTSC and PAL uh, video things synced up between my camera, my FPV gear, recording software, everything. Um, so not all the info's on the screen. But you can see I'm like 400 feet up in the air, 100 feet, cruising 12, 13 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour here. I really like flying FPV with the with an OSD. Coming in for a landing. All right, well that was awesome. This is a great field to fly in. Um, 5.8 gigahertz, it's known for getting a lot of interference. I was getting some interference, especially with like this tree limb sticking out right here. So when I just come along this, uh, this tree line right here, it, the video would cut a little bit, uh, but it wasn't that bad. It was a lot of fun. I had a great time, feel like I learned a lot and uh, my FPV skills are improving. Just packing up and hopefully I'll get out tomorrow for some more flying.